Today, we're finally doing it. We're redesigning ChatGPT. Over the past couple months, ChatGPT has been blowing up on pretty much every social media outlet, um, showcasing its capabilities and just basically changing the way the world is going to work in the next couple of years. But their UI always leaves me wanting a little bit more. Now here, of course, we're looking at the standard ChatGPT interface. Please ignore my cringe coding questions off to the side. And I just wanna start with a caveat. There's really nothing fundamentally wrong with this UI. It's actually a really damn good UI in terms of the user experience. Everything that I need to do as a user functionally is very doable in the existing UI. This is just because I've always wanted to redesign this interface and it's a very topical one. So I feel like it'd be relevant for you guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with kind of an experimental redesign, kind of rearranging things to try and come up with a better design solution. And then from there, we're going to refine it and add new experimental features as well. But nonetheless, here's the brand guidelines. I'm taking this straight from their website. We've got the nice black hues with the subtle blue hues as well. And in terms of the font, we're just going to use Public Sans, which is a nice, clean, very tacky feeling kind of uh, sans fun. So I'm excited to do this one. Let's just get in there. As with most net new design problems, I like to start with a wireframe. If I'm completely refactoring everything, a wireframe helps to take a lot of the complexity of the design away and just help you focus on the high level details, which are often the more important ones. So here I'm just kind of trying to figure out where it would make sense to put some of these elements um, as opposed to fully flashing them out and then later i'm going to dive into the specifics of the ui Although there do exist paradigms for putting the user menu in the lower left these days, the vast majority of user interfaces have the user menu in the upper right. So a quick win here, and something that I think will make a significant improvement to the usability of the platform, is just moving the user menu into the main header and off to the right. The designers at OpenAI had a very difficult design problem to solve here. Given that the main function of the application is text chat, they need to place some sort of max width on the container uh, so that people's heads aren't craning from left to right to read each new line. Um, but in doing that, they are forced to accommodate very wide screens by constraining only the chat. That's why you see the chat portion of the UI centered in the middle, uh, which looks a little weird because there's a left aligned paradigm throughout the rest of the UI. So what we're doing here is we're placing a max width container on the entire UI uh, such that regardless of how big a user screen is, we will always have a certain max width on the container. This lets us prevent the very long lines from happening uh, while still maintaining a consistent design paradigm throughout. And we have that nice left line aesthetic consistent now. This idea of having a bunch of suggested prompts to kind of help people understand how to use tools like ChatGPT is a wonderful idea. Uh, most people that hit this UI are not gonna understand the nuances of large language models, so giving them some prompts is a great way to onboard them to the UI. However, I wanted to place some extra attention here so that people understood what these were and knew that they were clickable elements. So we're applying a couple more styles to just imply that to the user. Hey, you should probably click on one of these if you're struggling. I'm also trying to adhere to the law of locality here, where controls should be somewhat close to the things that they're controlling. And I felt it was kind of strange that the way you would swap between the model that you're using, ChatGPT3 or ChatGPT4, was in the top of the UI, but the text controls are at the bottom. So moving this down here, uh, because it seems like it's more appropriate. Tangentially, this also opens up the door for OpenAI to introduce lots of different model variations. Instead of toggling between two or three, they could now add an arbitrary long list of different models to this drop down picker.
Not really changing very much about the sidebar here, just kind of refactoring the spacing a little bit and making things feel more consistent and aligned throughout. Um, like I said at the start of this video, they did a wonderful job with the UI. Uh, so we're just adding a little bit of polish here so that things feel more consistent. Adding a cheeky little disclaimer down here so that people know what's up when they're using the algorithm. Uh, nothing too crazy here, we're just basically copying this from the existing UI. Now, although the constrained width approach seems to work, I really wanted to experiment with making things full width again. So I'm popping over to another frame here in Figma and experimenting with full width layout to see if we can make all the optimizations that I previously made work in a full screen paradigm. Here I'm trying to figure out how to include the thumbs up, thumbs down and report controls that exist in the current UI and I want to put them off to the side to take up some of that empty real estate but ultimately I end up putting them on the left just under the ChatGPT logo that indicates that it's a message coming from ChatGPT. This allows us to make sure that the UI seems more aligned and also provides a consistent paradigm for where the buttons will be placed regardless of whether or not you're hovering on that individual element. I was really torn between which side to place this sidebar, on the left or the right of the main container. On the left, it makes sense because that's where navigational sidebars generally are. However, with the left aligned text container for the chat itself, placing the sidebar on the left pulls a lot of visual attention away from the actual response. So instead, I opted to leave it on the right to balance out the visual attention a little bit more, and I think that it makes it a lot easier to actually just consume the content you're getting from ChatGPT. And as a power user of tools like ChatGPT, it's kind of frustrating to me when I come back to the tool and then I think to myself, oh, I need to revisit a previous conversation, but I don't know how to find it. So a simple little uh, search model like this kind of makes sense where you can just search through all your past chats to find the one that's the most relevant. All right, and there we go. I think we've successfully resolved some of the bigger UI problems that I personally found in ChatGPT. And it's that the sidebar was pulling a lot of visual attention. We've subdued it. There was no way to search past conversations. We've added in a simple control for that. And uh, everything's just more appropriately aligned following that left aligned paradigm that they've kind of established throughout the other parts of the UI um, so that I can easily get questions answered without the UI getting in my way. So here, if I was to type a, a question, I would then get a standard chat interface with me, ChatGPT, and everything works as you'd expect it to. Um, but you can also go ahead and perform any of the controls that you would normally do in the sidebar and then see some metadata about that particular generated response when you hover over and then regenerate the response if you really want to. Also thought it'd be kind of cool to add some suggested prompts down here um, where the AI could kind of help you as a user ask it better questions if it kind of gets a feel for what kind of outcome you're looking to achieve by using the app. So it's a little bit of scope creep there, but I think it would be definitely worthwhile to improve the overall efficacy of the tool. So there you go, folks. Let me know what you think. Um, is this just a reskin of ChatGPT? Kind of is. Um, would you appreciate a UI like this or are you fine just using the existing one? Appreciate any feedback, folks. And if you want me to redesign anything, please pop that in the comments as well. Take care. Have a great week. Woo!